Hello there. Well, he may have won the presidency of France again, but Macron has lost control of his parliament. President Macron of France is today a much weakened leader. Yesterday's parliamentary elections delivered him only 245 seats out of 577. That's 38.6% of them. No absolute majority. He needed 289, so he's 44 seats short. Not only that, Marine Le Pen's national rally had a massive boost by coming third, winning 89 seats, 17.5% of the vote, when they only got eight seats at the last election. And in second place was Jean-Luc Mélenchon's new Ecological and Social People's Union, or NUPES, with 131 seats, a massive increase on the 17 they had last time. This result will make it extremely hard for Macron to get his legislative programme through, like raising the retirement age, for example. It looks like Macron has started his second presidential term as a lame duck president. And it won't help his standing in the EU either. Something that will hurt someone who was looking forward to becoming the biggest player in the EU by politically leapfrogging Germany. But the good news for the UK is that Macron will probably be far too involved in domestic French politics and forming internal alliances for the foreseeable future to be that much of a bother to us. And building alliances will be very difficult, as Mélenchon and Le Pen have said they will make life difficult for Macron. Wonder how long it'll be before someone claims it was Russian interference in the election what done it.